Hey there, this is Toasty Fresh and it's another collection video today and uh, I'm just unboxing my um, PlayStation 3 that I've just got which is a kind of birthday present because I've been without a PlayStation 3 for a long time now after mine I finally packed in my 60 gig model got the yellow light of death, I fixed that and it's got something else wrong with it as well so still out of action which I don't know whether it can be revived yet or not I'll have to look into that anyway for my birthday um, my lovely girlfriend and daughter decided to buy me a new PlayStation 3 well I said I could go and get one so I picked one up off eBay and uh, I'll just go and show you what I've got it's kind of an unboxing I mean I've already unboxed it because uh, I didn't want to show the address and all that kind of thing understandably so I'm going to show you now uh, what I've got with it so it came as a package, it was 140, £141, I think it were, 142 for a PS3, uh, 320 gig with 15 games. And just these are some of the games that I have got with it. I've got the, first I'll go over the one that I've already got, which is Red Dead Redemption, which is a copy, because I've already got it. Well, an amazing game. Rockstar guarantees quality, more or less. If you see that Rockstar label, you know it's going to be a good game. And this is an excellent game. Just took off where Red Dead Redemption, uh, Red Dead Revolver, and just and Gun, and games like that, and just took it to a whole new level. Absolutely amazing game. If you've not bought it, go and try it. And where have you been? I got it with, um, I bought it from a game shop. I think it was 15 quid at the time with Assassin's Creed 2. And that's where some of the other games that I've got will come in. Because uh, I've got... Oh, it's underneath. But I've got uh, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Which, ironically, it was Assassin's Creed 2 that killed... Or was in my computer when my PlayStation 3 died. So, in a way, assassinated my PlayStation 3. Um, and now I've got the third one. To play, follow on afterwards, which I've already watched the first one complete, so I've got that one to look forward to playing. I already know it's an amazing game with playing the second one. So this, if it's anything like that, it's going to be a great game. Um, another game that it's so another copy is Grand Turismo Five. I've already got it, so that will be something I'll probably look to trade with somebody or sell on. So. Good game, but uh, I've already got it. And I'd seen, other, I'd seen other bundles with Gran Turismo 6, but apparently it's not the best game. It's not different enough from this one. So, But I already have it, so that's fine. And then i got a game that I've been wanting to get for a long, long time, which is Borderlands. Because I've only ever played the demo to this and the second one. And I've never actually played it. Even though it looks amazing. It looks like a game I'd be kind of into. It's kind of first person slash role playing. With the amount of weapons and customization that you can do. Really was into this game. And I very nearly got it at one point. Because I seen it in a shop. A cash generator for 4 99 And I thought it was cheap. And I went and checked the price. In game and game was on it for fifteen quid at the time. And by the time I'd gone to check the price and gone back, the game had gone. So I was a little bit uh, vexed with that one, but uh, now I've got it. So very pleased with that. And when I finished that, I've got Borderlands Two as well. And they're both in the cardboard cases as well. Look like they're in good condition. I don't know about the discs yet because I haven't checked them. But uh, two great games. Probably all the additional content will have already been used. But that's fine. I mean, I still get to play the game. So that's good. Uh, I also got this uh, top, top game, Walking Dead. I've not actually played it myself. But I didn't think I was going to get out of it. Because it was expensive at the time. Uh, and I think at the time I didn't have loads of money. I was buying other things. So I never bought it. Uh, six... Uh, in sequence and I've watched somebody else do a playthrough of this but I've always wanted to go and play for it myself as well so I'm actually loving having that so that's a good one and it still sets you back a pretty penny I looked on entertainment exchange 
And that still sets you back 20 quid on its own for the PlayStation 3, at probably similar price for the 360. Uh, I got that. Uh, I got Just Cause Limited Edition uh, with the cardboard casing as well. Probably, again, the add on stuff will have been used, but. That's okay. Again, this is meant to be a fun game, a really fun game to play. I played a bit of the first game. Maybe I had a dabble on the demo of this, but again, it's another game that I've never played for the PlayStation 3. So, which is a good thing about this bundle is a lot of these games, they're just there was no filler with it. There was no old sports games or things of little value. Or They're all games that I'd, I looked at and thought, I'd actually like to go out and play these. So... This is another game that I'd love to go out and play, and I will be playing at some point. Uh, I also got Mary's Edge, which I've seen a great YouTuber called uh, Zevik play through this on the hardest difficulty setting and complete it. So it probably won't be on the high list of priorities, as I know roughly how the story pans out. Uh, but I... That was a while ago, so it'd be a good game for me to go and uh, actually experience for myself. And it's meant to be a good game. My brother, I told him about uh, the bundle I got, and he said, you'll love this game. So apparently he thinks I'll love this game. So that's another one I'll enjoy going and playing. Uh, another copy that I've got is uh, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. The first Modern Warfare, which I've already got. And this uh, still sells for 10, 10 quid. Uh, in Entertainment Exchange, this version, anyway. So, which is more valuable than the boxed versions, I'm not too sure, I think, in uh, certain shops. So, there'll be another one that I'll be looking to trade. So, I've got three PlayStation 3 games, either that or I might even do some kind of giveaway at some point and I'll set these to one side with some of my swaps that I've got with PlayStation 2 and 1 games. And I'll do a giveaway for some of you guys just to give something back when I get uh, more subscribers and things like that. Uh, I also got uh, Aliens vs Predator, which made by Rebellion, which I remember they made an okay... If it's them who made it or published it, I don't know. I think it's them who make it, though. They made, um, what's it called now, Judge Dredd. I remember making that shooting game, which wasn't perfect, but I thought it was fun. And I think this might be the same. Again, it was a game that didn't get... I don't think it got great reviews. It was a bit overhyped. I know Colonial Marines, apparently that is meant to be very overhyped. It's not half as good. So this... It'll be good to look at it, and I could just see it as a bonus, really. Because I was looking to get a PlayStation 3, and probably with some of the other games, made this bundle worth the money. So that'll be a bonus. Probably the same with uh, Flashpoint. Oh, uh, Dragon Rising, Operation Flashpoint. I've never played this, but it's made by Codemasters, who made some classic games, the Dizzy games, the Brian Laura Cricket, uh, Micro Machines, uh, all things like that. So you never know, it might be a good game, because they don't tend to make terrible games. So, But I've never played it, and I've never played... I don't think there's another game as well, uh, Operation Flashpoint game, but... I'm not familiar with the series, to be honest. So, if anyone has any clue, if that's good, uh, let me know. Because that's one game I'd, I haven't got a view on, really. Same with Aliens vs Predator. If it's as bad as the other one, uh, let me know as well. Because I can't remember what I heard about it. I think it did get panned, but uh, just good to hear your guys' views. Actually, gamers and not magazines and things. And then I got Assassin's Creed, the first one. So it was a good little bundle to get because I've got the second one. So now I've got one to three to play through before I go out and get the later versions. So kind of completing the collection for me. The only bad thing is I've got it on Platinum, which I don't really know anyone who's watching any reviews. I don't like really getting Platinum versions, but uh, nothing I could do. It's part of the bundle. So, But I've got it. I could always maybe trade it in later and get the original version. It won't be too hard to get hold of. But yeah, I've got that. I've also got the uh, Zombrex edition of uh, Dead Rising 2. Uh, sadly, I've checked and the syringe, the auto-injector prop isn't in the cardboard case. So I was a little sad at that, but it's in a, the cool metal case. 
so I'm happy with that as a collector's viewpoint point of view it's okay uh, just that I haven't got the added prop to go with it is a bit sad but uh, I already have this oh, well my girlfriend got it for the 360 she didn't like it but it being her computer really it I haven't had too much of a chance to go and have a real session on it because it's not really fair with her wanting to play on her games like FIFA and things like that. It it was hard for me to play it, basically. Because really, it's kind of... The 360s, my girlfriend's, and the PlayStation 3 was man. And now we share a, a PS4. But, um, yeah, so it'll give me a chance to go ahead and play this game because I have played it and it was great fun. So I can go ahead and complete it probably now. And I got a uh, Ratchet and Clank, a cracking time, which is the only bad thing about this. Oh no, it's just a sticker. I thought there was a bit of damage to the case, but it's just a sticker there. And I remember my brother having the first PlayStation 3 game of uh, Ratchet and Clank. I think, it, what was it called? Uh, Weapons of Destruction or something. Uh, and I had great fun with that, playing through that. So this probably should be the same. Maybe I might wait and get the original i've got the very first one for the playstation 2 again it's a series i've never played so maybe i'll start from the beginning and work my way towards this i don't know i suppose i don't actually have to but insomniac made this so they made some other great games so it will be again that i'm very looking forward to and i'm not Later on in my years, I wasn't a big platformer kind of player. I didn't really play the platformers uh, once I got a bit older. But uh, it's some it's a game that I went on and I had great fun with. So I'm looking forward to going on this one. And uh, actually having a real go on some platformers for a change. And last but not least, for the games, I have uh, Far Cry 3. Which again, a great sandbox uh, game. Which I remember my friend having a, the the first one for the Xbox and I have to say again that it's not a game that I have played I've, I've never played the I've only played the earlier ones for the Xbox original and I've not played the second or the third one for that matter so this will be something that will be fresh to me and uh uh, it's something that I'll probably have fun with because I did have a great time stealth killing and driving around in jeeps and things like that in the first one. So it's a surprise that I haven't gone out and got this one. But like I said, at some points in time, I've not had a lot of money going around for spare games for certain consoles. So it's one that I've missed out on. Again, we're buying different games like Mass Effect series. I was big into that instead and uh, oblivion and skyrim and things like that so i kind of missed out on some of these games by playing them and going back and playing uh, retro gaming as well so it'll be a fun game and i think it is a quality title to go ahead and play so i've got some brilliant games that i've never played and i also got as uh, extras and uh official pad and they had a bonus, it's a DualShock one, because the last DualShock one I've got, I've still got pads, I've got an unofficial wireless one, and I've got, I think it's two working, one's not working too well, and one fully functional, normal uh, six-axis pad, and I bought my first Rumble pad, I don't know if I got FIFA Rage or something, and I chucked it and it broke, and it never worked the same again. And the other one, it went under the settee without me knowing. And then somebody, I spilled a drink and the drink went over it and killed it. It never worked again after that. And that really pissed me off because I'd just gone out and bought it and not been using it long after that happened. And I've got another one, which again, had a bonus. It's another DualShock 3 one. So very happy with that. Like they'll have come to, at the very least, a tenner if I bought them off someone on a local selling page or eBay and 15 quid in uh, cash converter or whatever, which I remember them being very expensive at some points, at least £25. But it's got the plug and the... Uh, that's the control wire. It looks a little bit dirty, that. 
uh, charger for the controller, which I've already got. So some of this stuff, like people were selling them without controllers. I wasn't too bothered about a controller because I've already got two or three. And I've got two or three broken ones that I've, for some reason I've not chucked them out or anything. Uh, that's another control charger. Uh, I don't know if it's got an uh, HDMI lead, but luckily for me, I don't need one. I've got plenty. So, yeah, I think that's one thing that's missing, which I don't know whether he stated that. Yeah, I don't think he stated that. Yeah, that's one thing. We've not got an uh, HDMI cable unless it's in here with a console. But uh, I'm trying to do this one handed because I'm using my phone. So I'll just bear with me. So that's a bit loud. And I've got some bubble wrap to play with as well. But, well, it was meant to be well looked after, but I'm finding dust. Oh, I'm finding a lot of dust here. So. Maybe I have to give this bad boy a call now. Um, and I don't know how reliable... Oops, just dropped my uh, phone. I don't know how reliable these are. So that's one thing I'd like to ask you guys. If you know that that's the beast in all its glory. Because I've only ever had the 60 gig versions. My first one my girlfriend dropped. And didn't work again. And I sold it on for parts. And got a new three... Well, not a new, a second hand... 60 gig model because I wanted my backwards compatibility at the time uh, so I passed up the opportunity for my girlfriend said she was going to buy me a brand new one of these at the time the super slim wasn't out but this is the 63 20 gig so I'm assured model which I'll have to look up but apparently it is I don't know where the model number is but uh, I've so I have no idea, but I know that apparently the... Oh, there we go. That's the model number there. Uh, 2003A or 2003A. Um, so the reason I didn't buy another fat one, which I've had opportunities to buy a fat one before, is apparently they're all ticking time bombs and they all go eventually and... A guy who I went to fix my uh, PS3 with, he said I'd already reflowed it and uh, changed the thermal paste. He said that they can be very temperamental when you take them apart. And that's why he wouldn't touch it, the guy who I sent it to. So maybe somebody else could fix it, who I could send it to. But uh, he wouldn't touch it. And because it still has a problem, I think it's with the power supply. It just keeps turning itself off now. The power light's coming on as normal, but as soon as you go to turn it on, it just switches off instantly. And there's a little bit of a squealing noise coming from the power supply, so I think it might be the power supply's gone as well, as uh, it being an overheating problem. But uh, I'd like to know if the slim model is any more reliable, because I do know that they do break as well. But uh, So if you guys know if they're any more reliable uh, than the other ones... Uh, just give me a quick uh, holler and tell me if they're easier to fix or what have you or what your thoughts are on this model of PS3. Anyway, that was a game and if you've got any uh, comments on any of the games that I've shown as well, that would be uh, greatly received. Anyway, I've been Toasty Fresh, unboxing uh, my latest PS3 and uh, thanks for any likes or subs or anything that come as a result of this video. And I'll see you once again for maybe a Let's Play or something that I'll be doing in the future or another con another collection. Oh, in fact, this is a bonus as well. Uh, I'm going to show you. I almost forgot. I picked up this um, F1 game for the Amiga. Which it says there it runs on the, the Amiga 500 to the 4000. And it's complete in box. With the instructions and everything. So nostalgia of that console made me go out and get this. I can't actually remember playing this. I probably did have it because we had literally hundreds of copied games. In those little uh, lockable uh, floppy discs holders that you had. And I had some originals but my brother used to just copy a hell of a lot of them. Uh, with his friend. So 
I can't remember playing this. I remember playing Indianapolis 500 more as a kind of like this Formula One kind of game and stunt car racer and things like that. Road Rash as my kind of racing games on the Amiga. So I don't really remember this. So if anybody knows whether this is actually a good game or if it's pants, uh, let me know about that as well. It's just an added bonus there. I just remembered to show you. But uh, yeah, so I'll get back to you later with another video at some point. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.